Arif and I worked on a really big video. The mission was simple. We were supposed to catch a big giant snakehead in a legal ground in Singapore. Sadly, we failed to land a giant snakehead. We were just too inexperienced and we were not really committed to the task. However, giving up was not an option. So, in the last week of December, Arif and I decided to put our 110% effort into catching a giant snakehead. This is the Tomahawk. Before we start this project, Ishan and I are going to be needing some help as we are not as experienced in giant snakehead fishing. So, we are going to be getting help from one of our members in the team who is like 80% of the time not in action. And his name is... Jared. I'm pretty sure you guys can remember me from the previous video in Crunchy when I was on Ishan and I didn't hit a single fish. I wouldn't say I'm very good at catching Toman, no, I'm very experienced at it. But then, I'm pretty sure I love hunting for them. And then in Facebook fishing, I'm the one that hunts for Toman the most. So, today, our aim for this project is to hit a good sized loner Toman in LSR, Lower Selita Reservoir. And I hope I can help one of them to get a Toman and then guide them through. So, we'll try to keep casting and then see what we can get from it. I hope we can land a few distant Toman, yeah? Day one was tough. We faced many challenges, and despite having the help from Jared, we seem to be getting nowhere. There have been recent activities of weed clearing, and snakeheads use the weed as a shelter or home to them, so without the weeds, the snakehead wouldn't be there. Another thing was there were a lot of beetles and they were catching snakehead left and right. So we didn't even know whether our artificial lures actually stand a chance. I mean, I'm not so sure what the public public utilities for, right? Yeah, I'm not so sure what they're doing, but they're certainly not doing their job, man. Look, look at that tall one right there. It's at least eight pounds, man. And the other one over there, this is. Day 2 was worse. We were starting to lose hope and confidence, but Jared hatched a plan. Jared suggested that we should approach some of the regular common hunters at Lower Silita Reservoir. They can give us tips and tricks and maybe some techniques that could help us land a giant snakehead. So, hi guys, good morning. Good morning. This is my, a very good friend of mine, Hakim. Many people might have seen him here before because he's a regular at Lower Silita Reservoir. Okay, so today, he's gonna give us some tips and some guides on how do you hunt, the, how do you hunt for the Toman at Lower Silita Reservoir. We have a very special guest today which when you think of hunting Toman, you'll definitely think of him. It's Mr. Man. Hi guys. So he's gonna give us some tips on how do how do we hunt for the Toman here and go sit down as well and then some of the some of the you know the hard things that he face here and stuff like that. Yeah. Well over here Toman has a characteristic of uh, coming up to breathe the air every three minutes so you guys just look out for the ripples when they come up to breathe and yeah, sometimes you can sight this uh this pairs and donuts around but uh, it's not necessarily that you can keep these fishes because it all depends on the boat so second thing would be you need distance so heavy layoffs maybe a little bit longer rod set up here, there used to be a lot of vegetation, uh, so I use pretty heavy tackle. Uh, regarding the setup, usually we go for for setup that is strong enough to, to pull up those weight. You know, you need those really stiff 
stiff stiff because sometimes after that you hook up on a toman it will run into structures or weight but usually here they will run into it so what happens is they, they're gonna they're gonna swim in and swim out and gonna tangle around the, the weight so that is where your rod is uh, play, play a very important part in, in, in pulling it out so what's your favorite lure for loners? loners um, I would say bass bait because it's noisy uh, but bass bait has a negative point that is because of its propellers they will how should I say they will give you good casting distance so second choice would be so it's closer I would say uh, surface lures like uh, surface cruiser uh, usually the best the, the best so far here that I've seen and I, I, I copied the, 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 the leaders around here <laughs> is this usually uh, the surface cruiser uh, which is actually quite hard to find nowadays Is timing important? Yes, first light normally I come it's first light and last light but if I have the time I will I will also come during uh, the hot afternoon because when the, the sun is on top you can really see every single rise but like I say timing is also important most of the time afternoon the water here is very very choppy you won't be able to see anything but if all the conditions are right it would be a very good time to Thank you, Van Hock. There's some good tips from him. So oh, keep that in mind, guys. Thanks, Alright, thanks, Hakim. Right, welcome. And let's go. The Tom and Han. So, with all their tips, we had one last day before our holidays end. One last chance to land a giant snakehead. So, we arrived at first light and did everything they said. And true enough, Lady Luck was looking at us and decided to make this video happen. So, on that day, I landed my very first giant snake. Project. Okay, actually this is the field, the field trip already. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man, we finally did it bro. Nice, 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 nice. Boom. Yeah man. Hey, dangerous ah! Power watch, guys! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful, be careful. After so many trips, we finally did it. It was shocking, man. I thanks, man. Thanks, yeah, man. Oh, you should. Yeah, woohoo! Presenting to you 
fake spawn fishing. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, that's a big pumpkin. Oh no, I don't really expect that. Oh, yeah. 